Hi guys, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Wizards 101, or actually it's Wizard 101. Anyways, this is a really quick, uh, I'm, I'm only doing 15 minute videos, I don't know if you're going to do this, I'm going to upload these every Wednesday, it'll be Wizarding Wednesday. So, and I know I uploaded one on Tuesday, but I wanted to make sure that I got it out and you guys could see it. So, but let's get back with Kestrel, she is still only level 1. So, let's see. Let's listen to Merle. Meryl. Welcome to Wizard City, young wizard. Things here are not normally this hectic. There's a problem on Unicorn Way that absolutely must be dealt with before we can get you enrolled. So, what does that have to be that I have to I have to go and deal with something before I can get enrolled? I've an idea. Perhaps, uh, if it wouldn't be too much trouble, you might take a look. You may be able to help. It will also let you see more of Wizard City. The headmaster hands you a letter with an ornate wax seal. Please deliver this letter to Private Stilson at the Unicorn Way Gate. He will let you through. You can use the yellow quest helper arrow at the bottom of your screen to guide you there. Now, this yellow... This yellow uh, arrow is invaluable. You have just been given a tutorial tip. These will occasionally appear on the right-hand side of your screen. Get out of this These person's. are portraits that give you timely information when you click on them. Get out of my wizard person. You're in my wizard. That's creepy. Anyways, welcome to the Spiral. As you adventure in Wizard 101, you will encounter lots of fun things to do beyond defending the Spiral against evil. At level 3, you can start crafting. At level 5, you can get a pet. At level 7, you can catch fish. At level 10, you can enter player versus player tournaments. At level 12, you can begin gardening. At level 15, you can purchase a castle. And much, much more. Have fun, young wizard. How fun that person got out. God, that was creepy. Anyways, let's see what this tutorial tip Hello, is. Hello, young wizard. I am Mr. Lincoln, the registrar of Wizard City. I will provide you with useful information to help you in your studies. I apologize for the interruption, but I wanted to bring something important to your attention. If you ever have any questions about magic or the world around you, I've included some reference material in your spell book. Simply open your spell book and read over the help pages. They contain loads of valuable information. I'm not going to do that. Say, you have permission to use text chat. This allows you to talk more freely to others. When you press enter, you will see the say icon. If you are in a group, you will also see the group chat icon. The message will appear above your head and can be seen only by other players that have permission for text chat. If you're in a group and you want to say something to people nearby, make sure the say icon is bigger. To talk to your group, make sure the group chat icon is bigger. To switch, click on the one you want to use. Words that are valid will show up white. Words that are not allowed by the filter will show up red. For more details, go to the Wizard 101 website. And, um, so words that are in yellow are either not spelt right or the filter doesn't recognize them. And of course, there are ways that you can get around them, but don't do that if you're under the age of 18. So it says down here, I you really can't see. Oh, you can. So it says, where's my? It says down here, talk to Private Stilson in the comms, and you just follow the yellow arrow. This, like I said, this yellow arrow is invaluable. And we will get a mount later. Because this running thing is just for the birds. None shall pass. Unicorn Way is off limits. There are ghosts everywhere. You show Private Stilson a letter with Headmaster Ambrose's wax seal. Looks legit. I'll let you pass. Show this to Private Conley in Unicorn Way. Here we go. Here's more tips. Tutorial tips. Oh, and I'm, but first I'm gonna come over here and get rid of the person in my. I am the duel master. 
you would like to learn about player versus player wizard duels, find me outside the arena on Unicorn Way. Oh my, you have entered an area with monsters in it. If you want to safely traverse this dangerous area, stick to the sidewalks, dear. They are safe. And one last one. Remember, characters with a yellow exclamation point over their heads will have a quest for you. You should get them all while you can. I also wanted to show you, uh, tell you that you can run by holding uh, down both of your mouse buttons and moving your mouse. It's kind of it's kind of hard to use at first, but once you once you get the hang of it, it's not so bad. Greetings, young wizard. I am Diego, the duel master. You have heard of the illustrious wizard versus wizard duels, yes? Any wizard can duel another wizard in the arena, either in a practice duel or a ranked duel. And once you reach level 10, you will be able to compete in proper tournaments. To duel another wizard, you must first enter the arena. Go inside and look at the arena pedestals. And come back to me. So, yeah, like I said, it's kind of hard to get used to. I don't usually use it, but sometimes it can it can help. Um, there we go. I'm I'm running for no reason. There we go. I was like I'm running. <laughs> you can simply click on the practice <coughs> pedestal to create a duel or to accept another wizard's challenge. Practice duels are not reported and do not affect your PvP rating, but they are a fantastic way to hone your skills. We'll enter a couple of those. I don't normally do them, but Peter's right to have the oh, chance sorry. to win arena tickets, which you can redeem for prizes. And every win will increase your PvP rating. However, if you lose or flee a duel, your PvP rating will go down. The tournament pairs though will let you join tournaments, but you must reach level 10 before you can use it. You can win special prizes by competing in tournaments. I will tell you more about them when you are ready. The leaderboard pedestal allows you to see your standings. It shows you how your rating compares to other duelists. Each season of Wizard vs. Wizard duels is known as an age. The length of an age is something of a mystery. Every time a new age begins, the leaderboard standings are annulled. Every wizard another chance to shine. All right, let's get out of here. <coughs> oh, look at that pogo stick! That's a cool mount. Now you know. Don't forget Sorry, to guys, I keep forgetting. With me, I just go. I reward. hit the space bar a whole bunch of times until. And remember, the rank PVP rating lasts for an age. Once a new age begins, everyone's rating starts at zero. Yay. All right. So let's go talk to Private Connolly. Ha! A letter from the headmaster. You're very brave to bring this to me. Be careful going farther down Unicorn Way. The street is dangerous. I've seen wizards like you go down that way and never come back. Beware! Your arrival is a blessing. We need help fending off the Yay. ghosts in Unicorn Way. Some dark forces have risen, and we don't have enough guards to stop them. We would be honored if you would use your powers and chase lost souls away for us. So we just leveled up. If you press the C button, it'll show you that we are now a no we are now a novice, level two. Uh, Thalmatiger, Tiger, whatever. Our health is 531 out of 31, our mana is 17 out of 17. <coughs> Excuse me. We have 18 out of 115 experience. We have zero training points. 5 gold out of 300,050 crowns. Um, zero reading tickets, 41 energy, and we don't get any more. And we have no damage. Uh, minus or you know we don't have any of that stuff yet because we don't have anything yet we're just still, still just a baby so now that we leveled up 
And then, of course, Meryl Ambrose, or Remember Merle Ambrose. Remember that you can bring up your map by pressing the M key or clicking on the map icon within your spellbook. Okay, so let me show you how to do that. If you press M, like he just said, it brings up your map. And these all have, like, little, uh, you can see that it says, you know, up here it says character, you press the C button. For your backpack, you press B. For your pets, you press I. I don't know why you don't press B, but whatever. Uh, for your spell deck, you also, you press P, which, why don't you just press D? I don't know. Uh, quest is Q, obviously. M is map. J is crafting. Help is just, you. I guess you can type in help. Um, options is escape and of course close and then you can go home you can go to the commons or you can even zoom your map in out or in so that's that let's go ahead and get on with the quest I always go through this gazebo always <coughs> So defeating, we are defeating lost souls. Now, of course, you can choose to play with uh, friends or m make friends. I don't make friends on here because some of the people on Wizards, on Wizard, is a little. Um, most of them are children, and most can actually be very rude. I was playing um, the other day on one of my Wizards, and. Uh, the uh, I met two children who we were all trying to defeat the same thing, and they were extremely rude and kept telling me and another person that were over help that we were all battling the same thing. You know that to leave, to get out, we didn't belong there. We were stupid. We were dumb. We were newbies. And you know I have actually a level hundred wizard, so I am by any, by no means a noob, and I don't didn't very much appreciate being called one but the, basically the point is is that you know it's geez <laughs> overkill and so how you talk is you hit enter and you type in and see white shows you know that there are that people have seen it. Anybody who has text chat can see it. Then these little orange or red orbs floating around are actually um, just um, you know They're for the health. So this is a frost beetle. It is a level one spell. You get you use a pip for it. It does 65 to 105 ice damage. Okay, so we have completed that goal, so now we gotta go talk to Private Connolly. So see, when I step into this this red orb, it gave me 65 health. And there are blue ones roaming around, but um, you really don't, you really won't need them very much. Um, because when you step into a monster-free zone, you won't... Like when you go to in into Wizards the Commons, you'll get uh your mana will start to Let's build back. Let's turn up. the tide for us. We'll follow your lead and get back to work. If only we knew what's causing this spread of the undead. You should talk to Saren Nightchant and see if he can use any help. Alright. Let's go talk to Saren Nightchant. Greetings. <laughs> Professor Mulinda Wu sent me here to see if the rumors about the fairies are true. The guards won't allow me to go out any further, but they haven't stopped you yet. 
Would you check for me? Just walk down Unicorn Way and see if you can find any fairies. If they attack, you'd best know how to defend yourself. Thank you.